Hi, this is Mark Carrington. I want to talk to you today and over the next couple of weeks about building a following of engaged followers in Twitter. You'll see over the, um, the last few years, I have several Twitter profiles um, and the one in front you can see has, um, this is my personal profile, has 40,500 followers. And I have um, another profile, which is one I use for affiliate marketing, which has 69,700 followers. And I have one that specializes in foreign exchange, in Forex, I'm a Forex trader, as well as internet marketer. And this one has 80, over 80,000 followers. Now these have taken around three years to build. And they've been built um, using a, a combination of my own following activity, uh, my own engagement through tweeting, some automated tweeting, but using a done for you service, um, which has come through at um, with great results, but at a pretty large cost per month. And I want to explore with you on a brand new account, which was started last week, and it's called Go For Yoga Health. And you'll see that the first tweet here was on February the 12th. And today's date in Sydney, in a gorgeous sunny Sydney, um, it's 25 degrees outside, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, and it is Monday the 15th of February. So that account was opened three days ago. Now, all I have done on this account is I have followed, um, when we set up the account, followed a, um, a, a few people that were suggested by Twitter and a few people in the yoga niche, and I will, um, Go and talk a little bit more about those. But just first on the on the setup page is, is that so we can see clearly it's go for yoga health. There is a tagline which is to improve health and wealth well-being through yoga. And there is a pointer to my website which is called goforyogahealth.com. And in the description is a description about um, the person who writes for this post, who's Norma Windham. Um, and this is what her characteristics are. And then there is also a link in the description directly that goes back to this website or go into the sign up page. And you'll see also the description here includes the name of that website. So that's the first step, an important part of, of setting up your Twitter page. So those are the things that I have done. Let's just have a quick look at who have been following um, the Yoga for Weight Loss, Twin Yoga, April Rich Yoga, Juniper Spa, um, and they're a My Yoga on Gaia, Yoga and Isles uh, um, Alliance, Daily Cup of Yoga, Yoga International, Yoga Works, Yoga Journal. Yoga Journal is the leading um, Twitter following for the subject of yoga. The few of the others, and then there are a few lifestyle things, Better Health, HuffPost, Lifestyle, Lifestyle You, and Pop Sugar and FN's Healthy Eats, Food Network's Healthy Eats. Um, and then there's also a bit of lifestyle and natural geographics photography, because I happen to like that. And there is another version of, um, of Pop Sugar. So that's a fairly typical um, following. Uh, and then the the uh, you know, this 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 individual here would followed, um, and there were a few here: Sonia, and Pow Pow Pow, and Annabelle Harris. Um, I actually followed. They are followers that were following one of those um, one of these websites. Uh, and in 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 that period of time, so in three days, um, I have received thirteen followers, and. As you can see, I've not followed any of them back as we just run through this. So these are people that have just discovered um, this new Twitter account based on three tweets. 
I have done my first tweet, which goes points to my website, and that is actually generating some traffic, which is, I have retweeted a tweet from one of those accounts that I was following. You can see I'm following it. And I've retweeted because it had several retweets already. Um, and this one here, I'm also following this account. And I have retweeted that because it has several retweets. And that's pretty well all I have done. So I'm going to walk through the process of building a following. And then I'm going to contrast it with a software tool called Stage, which I will introduce you to. But basically, the process is um, to identify people that are following the leaders in your sec sector. So the easiest way to do that is to do a search. So I'll do a search for yoga. And I'll identify accounts. And I'll look for people that have a large following. So Yoga Journal has a large following. Um, so if we'll click on it, we'll see how large your following is. They have 282,000 followers. And what I'll do is I will just follow, and we'll do it right now, I will follow a selection of those. Now, I, I try to be a little um, a little intelligent in following in here, and my rule, the rules here are I want to follow people that have a profile. So this person here, I'm not going to follow. I want to follow people that speak a language or write a language that I can actually I can actually follow. So my Italian is not bad, but I'm not going to follow that. And I'm certainly going to avoid anybody who looks like a porn site, and I'm going to avoid businesses because I'm interested in individuals. So if we so we'll just head down here and we will follow people who are have written profiles and have written profiles in a language that I can understand. Um, and there's we'll just do we we'll do it indiscriminately other than I'm looking for a profile of and making sure I'm not interested in people who have not taken the time to put a photograph up. Um, I'm not going to follow someone who's, this is, looks like a business and they're talking in Chinese and I can't read a word of Chinese. And I will just work my way through and follow this group. And some of these will come up as pending follows. Girly Owl might be okay, although that looks like a business, but that's fine. Pickle or Cucumber or some strange. And the smart thing here is, is I'm just going to not apply too much discrimination. This one is in Spanish. I can read Spanish well enough, so that's okay. So I will be able to respond. I can certainly speak f I mean, fluent in Dutch. It's Yoga Eindhoven. That looks like a business, but it's a business involved in yoga. So you get the general idea of what I will do. And then we'll just go and let's go and pick the the next one on the list. So I'll re, just rerun that search. That was Yoga Journal I followed. Let's look at Yoga Works. Yoga Works has a hundred thousand followers. We'll hit their followers and we'll follow a bunch of those. And you'll see some of the people are um, are the same followers. So guess what? They're doing the same things that I am doing. Now, one of the things that you do need to be aware of as you are um, building up a new following is Twitter does not like you to overfollow, to follow too many people. Um, and they, they have some, some limits that look a little bit arbitrary. So when you're new with a new account like this that is only 23 follow um, is only following 23 people and has 13 followers, they will allow you somewhere around 100 followers. Now, of course, the first thing you'll notice here is I have no idea how many people I have actually followed. So that is the, the first way to, um, to, to run a following. So basically, you're following the people that follow the leaders in your niche. The other way, um, which is a pretty interesting way um, 
to my mind, um, and it's 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 relatively new area for me, is what we'll do is I, I, I've picked up one of the major um, um, followings here, and I'm going down through their tweets, and I see their first tweet here. It's February the 13th, so it's a reasonably recent tweet, and I'm going to pick the tweet up, and you'll notice that it has 49 retweets. Now those, so that post came up two days ago, and so the people who have retweeted this, we know are active because they are reading these following. So I am going to follow a selection of these people. As yes, I know that two days ago they were looking at Yoga Journal and they followed a tweet. I can apply the same principles here, but this one, this time around, I'm actually just going to follow everybody. And the neat thing here is, is that Twitter actually only shows you a certain number of those retweets. So I have followed every single one of those. No, I haven't. I, I now have. I think I've followed. I'm going to follow every single one of them. So I'm going to break one of my rules. I'm going to follow every single one. And then let's see where we are. So that's, um, and let's do, let's just pick one from the other. Um, so we go to Yoga Works. We'll pick one of their tweets if it's recent. Um, that one's only had four retweets, so we'll need to find one that's got a few more. No, it's okay. We'll just do this one. Let's not be too sophisticated about this. It's one. To. And you can see already that I'm already following someone who's doing this. Um, and I might just, here's one here called Yoga for Weight Loss. I'm going to just have a look at their profile. They've got 2,000 followers. Are there any of their tweets that have been retweeted recently? No, they're not. So their followers are not very engaged. Anyway, so let's go back to where we are and keep track of how many people I followed. So we started at 23 and I have now got my following up. Uh, I'm now following 80 people. So I can actually follow another 20 people. So let's go and find another 20 to follow. So we're going to just pick accounts and we'll go and pick daily cup of yoga let's see how many or well, let's do yoga international because this one has got a fairly large following and we'll pick up I um, I will do a mixture of here so I'm going to follow 10 more one I'm already following that one this one speaks French I can speak French too that's no trouble three four Now the problem that we've got here is, so let's just have a look at Linda Constantine. We have no idea how valuable she is uh, un unless we click on her profile and have a look and see she actually only has 19 followers. So she's either new at this thing or she's just not very engaged. Uh, and that's one of the weaknesses of, um, of taking this approach and I've, I've completely lost track of how many that I said I was going to follow so let's just go back and I want to pick and follow some of those those retweets so this is a this was 59 minutes ago how to make and it's already got two tweets so I know pretty well that these five people here they're probably on nine right now so I'm going to follow them and I will follow the the other one here, which is the one that's just been posted. And I will follow these two people. I'm already following them, so we know what they've been doing. Right, so if I go back home, I have I've now taken my the number I'm following up to 87. Let's leave that for now. And and, and so far we've not seen any new follows uh, and we will check in um, this time tomorrow to have a see what that process has done but I'm now going to go and contrast the approach that is involved in this software it's called staged and what stage does is it uh, it it helps you streamline this following process 
and 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 I, I've been using it for a while. Um, so I have a, a Twitter account called Body Weight for You, and over the last month we've grown this following from 1,600 people to 2,000. This is using an automated um, or an auto follow process, which is uh, managed for me by Staged. Um, but if I take this one here, which is called Our Inspiring, which is about motivational quotes. And this one has grown in the same month time, gone from 775 to 900. And you can see it's not a nice steady slope like we saw the last one. And there's a reason for that. The reason for that is I've been managing this one myself. So let's show how that manage process works for this um, for this, this account, one when you manage yourself. So we'll hit the grow button here. We'll go and find that profile, which is called Our Inspiring. And basically the process is, is that I can find users in my niche. And so I can type a username or a keyword. So previously I was using yoga. I won't use yoga here. I will use motivation um, because this is all about motivation. And it pulls up a list of candidates to follow. Um, and this, what you'll notice in this list here is, is that these are now ordered in the, and actually what I will do actually to make it a little clearer is I'm going to type in exactly the same word we used last time. So you will recognize these because I type in yoga and I don't mind following yoga in this particular profile. So I'm quite happy to follow and we will see it produces the list in the sequence and the number of followers. So you'll recognize we worked with those three accounts, Daily Cup of Yoga. So these are all sites about yoga. And what I'm really interested in people who are following yoga. So, so this is a person. So I can follow this person. Deepak Chopra, we all know. Or I can actually just tell it to show me their followers. So you see there's, a, there's an option here that says show me their followers. So if I can go to Yoga Journal and it will go and pull the data in, list in, sequence it by the number of followers that they have. So these are people that are involved. And then, so while it does not give me the profile information, I do know that this is in the sequence of followers. And what I tend to do is make sure I'm following people that go down a little away from the top, because these are guys. Now, the I, I, I know this guy's a swami, so he's a, he's he's a big yoga teacher, and I'm more interested in their followers. And then I'm just going, and we'll we we'll recognize that one there. So we've seen that before, and I can follow these. Now, the beauty about this software, what the software is doing here, it's doing two things, is, is it's following you at the speed at which you can press this button. And Twitter gets a bit twitchy if you follow too aggressively, i.e. if you use a robot to do this button pressing job. And this software just builds in a delay to make sure well, I recognize that one from last time. So that one, and we're, we're starting to see we're down into the low number of followers here. So we're at the 900. Um, and what I tend to do is is, is that I, I, I make a cutoff level. I haven't really pinned down where that cutoff level is. Um, but let's say around the 500 follower mark. And then you see what it's done here is, is that it's also added. This is a category that's called duplicate. On the left, you'll see duplicate users follows. And it is now added yoga journal into that list. And I, I have, and this is what I typically do, is, is that I just follow um, a group of people. And I just come back to it on a daily basis or every second day. And I just follow from I follow the people so I'm looking for the people and I I just going down from the top down these are all businesses here's a person here a little bit harder to identify who speaks English and all that stuff here you, you've got to start doing it by the name you've got to identify from the photograph um, it's so it's it's um, there's more Mohammed Nassim probably does not um, speak English but we shall see 
this fit lifestyle I happen to know is the person and we'll, we'll do the same cutoff down to around the the thousand people now what the software is doing behind the scenes is it is keeping a tally of how many people I followed and if I follow too many, you can see it, it tells me that I followed 39. If I followed too many, it will, it will just, it'll come back and say you can't follow anymore. Uh, so there's one there, porn stars picks. So I'm certainly not interested in that on a on a website that's talking about motivation and inspiration and just depression and all those sorts of good things. I'm not sure about Candy Sparks either. Now that's probably e e enough of, of that for now. So I have followed 43 people. The next part I want to t I did show, show you in the stage software when it comes to following, they have this tool called Smart Follow. And this Smart Follow is basically is a done for you service. And this has been the, the, the clue behind the steady growth of this account and what they do is I'll just show you on the log based on these followers and these um, accounts that I have fed to them the, these are these are a range of fitness and bodybuilding these are bodybuilder individuals and they basically go five days a week and they will follow and unfollow um, and then they, they take two days off because everybody takes two days off. Sometimes they follow only, sometimes they follow unfollow. Um, and all of these numbers are all designed to be working inside Twitter's limits so that they don't think that you are using a machine. And the, the attraction for that is that gives you a nice steady chart like that, which is quite different to the one I have for for this one and I'll have to go back to the here to show you that chart now maybe I will have to go right back here to show you that chart and we'll pull out the R inspiring chart and you'll see this is what happens is when you're inconsistent you get a big spike so that's clearly a day that I did do some following I got 17 followers the next day I didn't the day after I did so every time I took a break I didn't get following and so I get inconsistent following now in my next video so that's probably enough for this video is is that so basically what we've done is let's go back to where we started from is is that I have gone from 23 followers to 87 followers and and so I have followed 60 something people and have I got any anybody following me mm, not yet as we can see the, the there is no change so what I'll do is I will make a note now in my little spreadsheet here is is that on the 15th of February for this account I was I I had 13 followers and I was following 87 and I'm actually going to put a notice to how many tweets I had because what I will do is is I will put start putting some tweets in today to so two or three tweets for the day to show what impact tweets have on building a following and I will, um, rather than sit through now watching me fill in there, I will fill in the number of followers and following I have on these two accounts. So this one here is a done for you service. And this one here, our inspiring, which is one managing on my own. And I will um, show those numbers in and then we'll come back in a couple of days and we will see what has happened. I, I hope that helps as a an introduction to software stage there are a bunch of other things inside stage we can so we it helps us grow it helps us write copy so to put posts up and to put content up it helps us engage with our audience and this for me is the really exciting part of it is it brings all of the feeds 
the interaction notification feeds in to one place so that you can so that you can um, start responding so you'll see here now it's loaded for every single account I have it's loaded every mention every direct message every retweet every new follower and I can sit there and respond so this this new follower here is someone that um, has followed me I have not followed them because there's a follow this user sign and I can send them a message and I can just move on um, an amazing place but I will talk about that one a little bit more because I will contrast how this works to the way you have to do it on your own if you're just using the Twitter interface so you've been listening to Mark Carrington and we've been talking about using stage to build a following in Twitter thank you and happy Twittering